Good morning, everybody. It's Chrissy from Chrissy's Corner for Collectors. And I'm here to show you my haul video from my shopping video from yesterday. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of all the things that we have. And then I'll show you some of the things that I really like and I think are gonna be really make, not the coffee, making us some money. So let's sit and chat. Good morning, it's Chrissy again, and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got yesterday. Now I wanna tell you if I'm talking well, I get up very early in the morning. In fact, right now it's five o'clock and I've been up for about an hour and a half. I'm an early waker upper. So it's perfect for me to do these videos now while everybody's asleep, the dog's got a bone, so I won't be interrupted. And uh, so I can show you some really neat things that we got yesterday. And I really think we got some neat things. I am gonna show you two things that we were a little disappointed about, but just goes to show when you're out, you gotta pay attention. You win some, you lose some. It's just the name of the game. So I'm gonna start with the Noah's Ark. So it's kind of big. It's all wooden, it's all handmade. And there are two of every animal that's here. There's Noah. And I think these are lambs or goats. I'm not quite sure. Uh, lambs or goats. I don't know. They have like lines on them. Coming down. I don't know if you can see that. but <clears throat> So anyway, I cleaned it up. I think, I really think it was a toy because it's worked with. I mean, it's been played with. Um... So I'm gonna put this up, maybe on next door, because it's kind of big to ship, but um, it's very cute. And I think this was $4. So even if I make $25 on it, I'm okay with that. But let me get it out of the way, because it's the biggest thing on the table. And hopefully it doesn't roll off down and wake everybody up. Excuse me, I have to have my coffee. Mm. Okay, the next thing that I got was, I'm going to show you these real quick because I want to get them off the table too. So there was a box and it said Sisako, Sisako, Skyaka, D Skyaka, and it was $3. So I opened the box to see what it was and they're hand-blown glasses. And they've got like this tilted top. And they're, they are hand-blown, but look at the bottom of them. They're concave. So when I saw them, I was like, okay, what are they? So I looked them up, and they're little like rocks glasses. The thing about them, though, is my hair sticking up back here. The thing about them is, they're meant to be this way. They're sold at restaurants. They're roly polies. So they're meant to do this. Which freaks me out anyway. And I'm not drinking. So if I was at a bar, this would really freak me out. I don't get it. But you can. Let me demonstrate. It's not vodka. No. You pour the liquid in. And it's meant to roly poly. Now I'm telling you, this would be freaking me out. But it was three dollars for a box of six, <laughs> and they're purple. So I bought two boxes of them, and I was thinking about. I was thinking about putting them up for sale, but then I was thinking, I might give them as a gift <laughs> with a little mini bottle in it. I just thought that was funny. I don't know, but I have a, I have an idea for them. Like make a little basket, put four of those in it, and get four little mini bottles from the liquor store and make like a basket. And don't say anything about the bottoms being roly-poly unless they come on here and look at my video. That's 
mean and genius all in the same thing wrapped up. Just saying. Okay, so let's get going. So we're not here all day. So my husband got a couple of things, some hats, a brand new pair of shoes, and these shucker daddies. They're special shucking knives for like clams and um, oysters and that. And they're brand new in the box. So he's gonna sell those. And um, so yeah, we got those. And I'm gonna put them back where they were. Okay, and then some hats he got. I'm not gonna show you the hats. I also got this bright orange glass pitcher. And it is glass. It is not painted or flashed, it's glass. And surprisingly enough, it's not heavy. So um, I'm, I have a live sale coming up this coming week. So I think I'm gonna put that in a live sale and then put it back up on eBay. But I'm gonna see if I can put it in a live sale first. And my husband got this vase. It's like redware, it's very dark clay. And it's got a kind of a mustardy glaze to it. And then the top has this fluted, can you see it there? The fluted um, top to it. So it's very pretty, it's very nice. I'm gonna have to do some research to find out. Now, if those of you who are my age, you remember everyone playing poker. Well, this is an old one, it's got felt on the bottom it doesn't turn so it's not one that spins that's and it's really heavy and i th believe these are all clay so if they are all clay um this is going to be worth something and there's an emblem on it let's see if you guys can see the emblem i don't know which way is up so if you, if you recognize that emblem, I'm thinking it's something that was at a casino. It looks like like Wren Casino. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or Wynn. Maybe Wynn. I don't know. Okay. So, here's one of the things that I was disappointed about. And it happens to every single one of us. And I swear to God, when my car is full, when I'm shopping, I go find a quiet place to sit and I look at everything. So when I get home and there's something wrong with it, it just drives me insane. So I don't know the name of the guy who makes these figurines. I've seen a couple on some of the sales. I've seen, I know they're on eBay. Um, but it's a pottery bird, very unique very detailed, like look at his eyes. Can you see that? And glaze and everything. And I got him home. It says, it looks like TL, TLC on the bottom. You can see that right there. Got him home, so excited, because I really like this guy's pottery. I like it a lot. It's very, very, detailed and then I started looking again and his tail is broken and I'm just tee off about it because I really liked him and I thought I found something fabulous but I didn't okay next thing is some Mexican pottery it does not say Tanala but it is painted in the way of Tanala. It does say Mexico on the bottom. And it is a candy jar. Needs to be cleaned out. Looks really good. No chips or cracks. And it's got uh, birds on it. And this side looks kind of like flower. At first I thought it was fruit, but it's really flowers. And it's all that blue tone. So that will probably make $10 profit. <clears throat> there was a little bag of stuff, you know how they have the trinkets bagged up? So I opened that bag up and there was a little girl's tea set, which I don't think is old, but I think it might be 80s. And it's all complete. I'll show you that. Well, let me show you. show you one of the pieces. Like this is the little sugar jar and it actually has a lid to it. And so does the teapot. Isn't it cute? So there's a whole set. But what was also in that bag was this, and this is Westmoreland, and it's a miniature 
creamer and sugar, milk glass. Now this set, when it was made originally, had a dish that came with it. And there's the dish and it's all good. It's not broken, okay? But the dish had a dome to it and this did not have the dome to it, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna still sell it as a set. And um, it has to get cleaned out a little bit, but yeah, Westmoreland. And that bag was $3 and it had the two sets in it. And both of the sets are pretty much intact, so I'm thrilled about that. Okay, I got a polar bear. He is resin, but he's really well done. And he's not heavy at all. Um, why did I get the polar bear? Because I have an idea for my display. Um, I'm gonna do polar bears. And so I got that polar bear. You saw one in the video, which was the Germany piece. And so I'm gonna put him in the display and him in this couple different ones. I had a, gl a glass paperweight one. So I'm gonna do a display on that and um, do the display like a static sale on Instagram where you can look at it. And if it's something you like, I'll list all the prices. Okay, next thing I got was this. Do you remember these? The chip and dip ball. This is in teal. Perfect. Great shape. The only thing that's missing is that little wire thing. But I've been told you can get that wire thing um, to hold the, it, what it would do, it would sit up here and hold the dip up higher than the chips. So yeah, I got that for sale. That's probably going in the live sale. I already have so much stuff for the live sale. I'm gonna be over how many um, Brian and I are bringing, but it's okay. Okay, next piece is this vase, Dryden, Arkansas. Arkansas, whatever you say, I don't care. I say Arkansas. But anyway, it's very nice. It's got a very lovely glaze on it. Very pretty. So we got this. Dries, Dryden, Dryden, not Dryston. Two different places, Dryden. Okay, did you see the stacking mugs on the video? Okay, so I got the stacking mugs. They are mid-century modern. They're like a three-tone that blends into it. It's a pink color. They do stack. I have the, the stick that they stack on. Um, two of them have a little chip on the bottom and one has a glaze Right here, if you can see, there's a glaze skip right here. But other than that, they're in great shape. And so they will go for sale too. I'm probably just putting those up online. Now, let me grab this. It's farthest away. This is black amethyst. It is not a swung vase. It does have... I thought there was a mark on the bottom. I'm going to see if I can get it to show. Let's see. Right there. I thought that was a mark, but it's really not a mark. I think it's just like a bubble. But it is glass. You can't, you can see a little bit of purple as you move it around. But it is black amethyst. And I really like the Art Deco lines. They're kind of square. They're not real smooth rounded. They're, they're kind of like art deco, but I really like that. So, um, yeah, that was a good find too. Okay. These two, this is handmade Indian pottery, hand painted. And this one is from New Mexico, V. Tafoya. And he's very highly, um, collectible. And his work is just beautiful. Oh, look at that hand painting on it. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So he's about a 75 piece of pottery. And then this one is also hand done. This one's carved. Can you see the etching on it? Can you see how it's etched into the clay? This is called a seed pot and I'll turn it. So here's the seeds. So they would harvest the seeds after the plant has gotten to a certain age and then they would put them in here to dry. 
and that's why the hole is kind of small. And so this is called a seed pot. And this one is done by A. U v. Lucario in New Mexico, Laguna, New Mexico, New Mexico. So yeah, and no, nothing wrong with these. Absolutely nothing. Okay, almost done. Here's my other aha moment, stupid as I am. So I picked this little tea light fairy lamp house and it still had its tag on it. So I was all excited because it's like lusterware. Can you see the lusterware? It's like lusterware and it's a, it's a house and there's windows and everything. And I was so worried about the flowers and whether or not the flowers were intact. I never paid attention to one of the leaves right here, which is broken off. Yeah, this is made by Blue Sky. I am so bummed about this. I really am. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I might take that back because I don't, I mean, I could sell it, but I don't know. I don't know. Last piece is from Nantucket Home. It's not very old, but it's probably around 80s, 90s maybe. And um, if you're not familiar, there is a group of ladies who have the Red Hat Society, and they started this, it's actually started, I believe, in England, and um, this lady was very upset about him turning 50, and so her friend wrote her a beautiful poem and gave her a red hat, and she talks about the red hat and purple clothes in the um, poem, which is very sweet, so, and let me tell you something, these ladies can do damage, okay, I've seen them out touring on vacation, and they do a lot of things together. I mean, it's a great group. They keep each other occupied and everything, but I'll tell you what, they're a rowdy bunch. Don't get in their way. Don't get in their way. My hair is just like, it's very dry. I need to condition it. Anyway, so this is her, and it's not a candy jar. It's too small, or maybe it could be a candy jar, but it's not a cookie jar. So I was wondering what it could be, and she's in great shape. There's some red hat confetti in there. I'm wondering, because she's the Red Hat Society, if maybe this isn't for your dentures. You know how they have the chopper guy, the chopper hopper, whatever he is? I'm wondering, I'm gonna try to sell it that way and, and market it that way, because I think that's kind of funny. But um, yeah, so, and I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put her up for sale, but. <clears throat> so that's all we got. I, and then my husband got some, uh, tools too, but he's already put those away. So, oh, I did get this box. It is full of Halloween skeletons and bats and spiders. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it was like four bucks. And there is a couple, um, vintage, uh, pumpkin picks from cupcakes on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna dump it out and kind of put it up for a lot. But so yeah, this is what we got yesterday. And today, that was Saturday. So that video went up yesterday. This video up will go up today sometime, hopefully in the morning if I can. And then the rest of the day is gonna be cleaning, tagging, um, pictures, and getting stuff up on eBay. So if there's anything that you saw in the video that you really like, message me, because I will give you a decent price, um, much less than what I would put it up on eBay for. And then if you are interested, like I said, some of this stuff is gonna go on my live sale on Wednesday. That's October 13th. That'll be with Pabri Company. Um, his name is Brian and it'll be on Instagram. It'll be six o'clock Eastern time or three o'clock here Pacific time. So come and join us. You just look for Chrissy's Corner for Collectors and you'll see live, click your little finger on it and you'll be right there. You can sit on your, your chair in your jammies and you can shop till you drop. And he has some nice stuff. He brings some nice glassware and dishes and that. So yeah, I hope to see you there. Even if you don't wanna buy anything, just come. 
because we laugh and we joke and we have a good time and the people in the chat are very funny. So, you know, it's a great way to get to know the reselling community. And Instagram, it goes fast. It's not a slow sale by any means. We go pretty fast. And I think I have 15 to 20 items, so. And some of that is jewelry, so. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.